what's going on guys, it's Tim, and you're watching Day Testers, a series where I test date ideas out with my friends and see if they're fun or not. And I know there's an elephant in the room, which is I'm not that good looking, but I mean, come on, if it works for me, that means it's definitely gonna work for you. So today, I got my good friend, Katrina. Hey, what's up guys? <laughs> hey Tim, so what are we doing today? Uh, so today we're checking out coffee shops and like boba shops. Fun, I love coffee dates <laughs> and bobas. You seem so genuine about that. Oh, I, I really do love coffee dates. And yeah? She, she even has an app. She like showed me an app that she has. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty normal. Everyone pays. Well, not everyone. Most people pay with their Starbucks uh, app. Uh, not me. But I mean, maybe I'm not like a Starbucks store You're like not that. Cool enough. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we're going to check out uh, Starbucks and then uh, Boba Shop. And then, you know, talk about coffee dates and like maybe come up with some ideas and tips that you could use in your next one. Are you guys ready? Let's go. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> Shout out right. to uh, Diamond Supply Co, you know? Hey. <laughs> they spelled my name right. All right, cool. So we got our coffee. Um, and let's just start with the overview. So I think coffee dates are like, basically the most unintimidating. This is like the, the first date that you, that most people go on, right? Exactly, because then I feel like if you go the actual date, then it'll be... Too intimidating. There's, yeah, there's a whole lot of pressure. Like, oh my god, like, I gotta look nice. I gotta uh -huh. like be proper. You know? <laughs> so yeah, the, the coffee is basically just like the an unintimidating step. Like you just be like, hey, you wanna just grab some coffee sometime? There's not a lot of pressure. You can just be chill with each other. Mm -hmm. And if there's nothing that you see that there's no connection, you can yeah. still be friends with each other. Yeah. And I think that's the cool thing about coffee. If the, if the vibe is off, you can just be like, all right, well, it was nice meeting you. <laughs> yeah, like, peace, I got... juices. <laughs> we both brought about like three dating tips. We'll just like compare and contrast and see if uh, like what we think about each other's. So you want to go first? No, you can go first. Actually, all right. okay, fine. My first tip, <laughs> sorry. All right. My first tip is to not dress up too much. Not dress, oh. As girls, you know. I mean, I feel like I already kind of dressed up a little too much because I did my hair. <laughs> but you still gotta look like you are trying a little bit. I think I think what a coffee date is, is basically more proper school clothes. <laughs> um, yeah, but I'm wearing like really short shorts, so I don't know if this is proper school. I Maybe it's, it's, it's proper flirtatious school? Like you, you want to be like for girls, like school, for, for like girls, school. for girls, I think you want to be cutesy casual. It's a little bit loose. And then for guys, it's like a like a college shirt like this, or yeah, I don't, I don't think you wore shorts on coffee, coffee dates. date or any kind of date. I actually wore shorts to date and it worked, it worked out horribly. Like so, no shorts for guys on dates. Yeah. Um, I'll just post up like a, like three ideal date pictures right now. Do those. Here, 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 here. <laughs> Here? Just <laughs> Sorry, I'm distracting you like a little squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so my first tip is come early and with a laptop. Or like a book or something. Did you so come when, with a laptop or a book? No, but I had my my phone, which, which kinda works. Because the thing is, the reason why I say that is because girls can be a little flaky and a little late. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was an hour late. <laughs> I'm so sorry. The reason why you want to come with a laptop or something to do is that you want to feel like you want to be you're, you're there, you know? Mm -hmm. Like you have a purpose. Like yeah. if you're there with nothing and you're just drinking your coffee, I feel so like awkward. Yeah. Like I'm looking around at people, I'm like, oh fuck, I'm like just waiting for someone. Yeah. So if you come with a laptop or like a book or something, then you have something to do. And then when they come, it's just kind of like, oh, you're here. Like I'll just kind of chill in, you know, like, you know, kicking back, doing stuff, you know? Definitely, yeah. Especially for dudes, because girls tend to be late sometimes. Girls don't be late. And then I think that for girls, like, like I feel like a girl with a book, like independent girl, like she has a lot of <laughs> stuff going for her. You know, like, yeah, it brings off the right vibe. Right vibe. So but I think then, that's what it is. But then be actually reading it, because then, like, what if the dude would be like, oh, cool, what are you reading about? You're okay. reading upside down. Oh, <laughs> um, it's like read the back of the book at least. Okay. You know, got it. Summarize. Well, that's why if, if you don't read books, you bring the laptop. But if you do read books, you read the book. <laughs> or go on Instagram, whatever. <laughs> Are you guys excited because of the coffee? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> we were just talking about this earlier. Like, 
I think we're both new to drinking caffeine. Mm -hmm. Yes. No. <laughs> that's why I only drink um, craps and like basically those bottle uh, coffees. I know that's like really kiddish, but I mean, it tastes good, <laughs> you know? I'm all about taste stuff tasting good, you know? If you watch this channel, you know that I'm all about tasting good. Yeah. Stuff that tastes good. On to the next point. <laughs> okay. What's the next point? Don't be too extra and too chill. You want to be like cool, right? Yeah, so just be like... Be like a Buddhist. Take the middle path. No. You know? <laughs> no, don't be a Buddhist. No. Listen to him. What? <laughs> I think that, that applies to everyone because then like you do kind of try to play it up or like you get nervous yeah. or like, you know, you, you try to act like someone you're not, which is cool if you're like being chill and acting like, you know, like if you're like really antsy, which is, which is me, I'm like really antsy and like thinking about a lot of stuff. So then when I'm on a date, I just try to be like, yo, what's up? Like, what's going on? <laughs> You know, like you want to be, you want to be the cool. Uh, I was like that. You want to be the cool version of yourself. Anyways, on to the next point. So for our next point, let's go to a boba shop and continue our conversation over there. Let's go. There's always a plus when there's snacks on the boba place because you never know the girl could be hungry. Mm. I'm just saying. Volcano Tea House. We're not sponsored, but um, he sponsors us. Uh, on to our next tip. What was your tip? It was your turn. It was my turn? I went already. Okay, so, so my next tip is always plan a post-date plan. Like a post-date thing. If you have a, like a post-date plan, if you like the person, you can invite them, and if you don't like the person, you can say, oh, I got a plan, I got a jet. True. Yeah. And that's tip number three. My tip was do not talk about your past relationships mm. yet. What do you have to say about girls talking about their past relationships like on a, first dates? That's like a red flag. Yeah, it's like that means that you're not they're not over their like their, their past relationship. The one thing though, uh, if they like mention it, like oh yeah this, but anyways like and then yeah, like, like they make an effort this, to go back to move it. Move on to another topic already. Like if they if they do it, not like if you if you like nudge them to, but if they like do it themselves, then then you're like oh, okay cool yeah. <laughs> All right. Your turn. So my last tip is, it's, it's gotta feel like two independent people meeting, right? Are you tutting? <laughs> no, I was like walking and I'm meeting, you know. Do you agree? It should I, be like yeah. two independent people meeting. It shouldn't be like one person like, like trying to figure out the other person. Yes. Like it should be two independent people like, oh, you do something cool, I do something cool, you know? Hence this hand dance. Uh -huh. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah. I think that's what it is. All right, Katrina, thank you so much for joining me on this date. Do you have any like last minute tips that you want to give people? Yeah, um, I think just don't expect too much. Oh, just, that's a good one. Yeah, don't be like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna go on this like date. Yeah, I'm so <laughs> excited. We're gonna get married. <laughs> no, like just, you're just getting to know someone and if it doesn't turn out well, maybe you can be friends. Just yeah. Don't expect too much. Be flirty, be fun, but you know, don't expect too much, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And then okay, so my my one is you definitely do not kiss the girl on this coffee date. Coffee <laughs> coffee dates are like that fun date, you know? Yes, do not. Do not even try. I could be like that's that's like the red flag for girls, I think. <laughs> Unless you're like, I don't know, there's an exception maybe. I think if I think feel, what it is if you feel that tension, you just go for it, I guess. No, but I think what it is. No, that's is, very risky. Risky. Yeah. No, I think what it is is like if it's risky. What was if, that? <laughs> risky, like high risk. Oh, oh, risk. Oh, up. This is like medium risk. And okay. Like low risk. You know? <laughs> Stay in the between risk. Yeah, middle path. Like I said in the beginning, middle path. Okay. <laughs> like I like I said in the beginning, if it's good, and uh, you have a post date thing, and they join you on that post date thing, and it becomes more than a coffee date. So like you you go like to eat eat some like like curry or something afterwards, or you go eat like or like you curry. <laughs> if you do something more than the coffee date and then you feel that like vibe, if you feel that good vibe going on, then you can go for it. But then if it's just a coffee date and you're like, all right, well, see you next time. Like, no, that's it. All right, so Katrina, what would you date this? Uh, <laughs> date this date? <laughs> How would you rate this date? I would rate this like a 8.5. Yeah, an 8.5. I think you're, you're a pretty good converser, so 8.5. Thanks. 
<sighs> yeah, I think I would be. It would be an eight for me too. Eight point mm -hmm. five. It's a good day. Anyways. Yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, thanks Katrina for being in this video with me. I think she was a really dope host. Hopefully she comes on again. And then um, you can find her links and stuff in the description of the box below. And then, um, yeah, thanks for watching the video. See you guys next time. Peace. <laughs> Bye! Oh wait, that's um, Liza. That's Liza. Bye! Bye! Bye. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. Click this video over here. I'm gonna post it here. Click this video over here. And then, um, oh wait, your, your face is gonna be in the video. Let's try it. All right, let's do, oh, this way. Here and here and here. Click those two videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Peace.